Today we're going to go over how to operate a Skyjack SJ3220 electric scissor lift. Before operating these machines, one of the first things you're going to want to make sure of, in this weatherproof compartment on the platform, you're going to have your operation manual, your ANSI's responsibilities manual, and any other manuals that came from the manufacturer should always be located, again, in this weatherproof compartment on the platform. Skyjack now has a QR code on the side of the machine. By pulling out your phone, take your camera out, hit the quick link, that's going to bring up Skyjack Elevate Live, in which you're going to be able to see a quick start reference guide, parts manual, serial number, any information you need on this machine is going to be pulled up on that page. Now on the left hand side of this machine, let's go ahead and open this door down below. By putting your hand behind this knob, bringing the latch towards you, you're going to open up this door. On this side of the machine, you're going to have your hydraulic tank, motor, hydraulic manifold, and your display. That's all located on the left hand side of this machine. Now that we're over here on the right side of this machine, this is where your battery charger is going to be located in which you're going to take your extension cord, plug it in right here. Again, by putting your hand behind this black knob, bringing the latch out towards you, you're going to have four six volt batteries located on this side, which makes a 24 volt system. Now let's go ahead and go to the rear of this machine for the ground controls. Now that we're at the rear of the machine below the steps here, is going to be where your power to platform is located in which you're going to plug an extension cord in down below here and that will allow you to have power at the outlet on the platform now to operate any of these functions on this machine this right here is going to be your master disconnect take your disconnect all the way to right it's going to be power on these newer skyjacks you need to be sure of you have both e-stops out so upper platform, e-stop out. Then also at the ground controls, e-stop out. Now to operate any of your functions down below here, by taking this key switch to the right, that's gonna be your function enable. You're gonna turn this rocker switch to the right also. That's gonna raise the machine. And then to lower the machine, again, by having function enable, key switch all the way to the right, take this rocker switch, bring it to the left. That there is going to lower the machine. Now, if for any reason the machine's stuck in the air and you need to get it down, on the left-hand side of this machine, this rocker switch is your emergency down. So by taking this toggle switch and hitting it left or right, That will get the machine out of the air for you. Now let's go ahead and go to the platform controls. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna unpin the upper box and bring it down low so we can get a closer look. As I previously explained, by having this e-stop out, that's gonna be power on. This joystick here has a dead man switch on it. To operate any of these functions, you always have to have your dead man switch pulled in. This toggle switch here, all the way to the right, is gonna be your travel. So by pulling the dead man switch in, Throwing it forward, you're gonna travel forward. Dead man switch in, bringing the joystick to the rear is gonna be your reverse. You're always gonna steer off this top rocker. So rocker to the right, steer right. Rocker left, steer left. Now to lift this machine on this toggle switch all the way to the left is gonna be your lift. Again, dead man switch in, stick forward. That's gonna go ahead and raise the machine. Dead man switch in, joystick to the rear. It's gonna lower the machine. Now you do have a high and low travel speed on here. So this toggle switch all the way forward is gonna be your low travel. All the way back towards you is gonna be your high travel speed. Your horn's also located up top here. Always be sure that this upper box is pinned in the correct location on this machine. Now, if you need any more room on this Skyjack 3220, this is, does have an extension deck on it. By pulling out both the pins on the right and left-hand side of this machine, slide your deck out. That's gonna give you extra space on the platform. 
Always be sure though, you have a few different locations that you can pin your deck back in so it's not sliding on you when you're in motion. I'm gonna go ahead, bring this deck back in. Stoke position. Always be sure again to repin. Today we went over how to operate a Skyjack 3220. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below.